Okay, so morning guys, welcome to another review from me, Matt, the Beauty Berserker. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend, wherever you are in the world, whatever you're getting up to and whatever you're doing. And I have another review for you. Now before we start, I say this each and every time, but I do mean it each and every time. Thank you for all the support over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt and here on my YouTube, Beauty Berserker YouTube channel where I try my hardest to try and help support, promote, advertise, and show you guys that there are some amazing, amazing products out there from small brands, individuals, and craftsmen out there, and we're not talking huge, massive, faceless brands. Let's face it, they got a shed ton of money that they can fund and marketing, promoting, and advertising their products that these smaller brands don't have. So they have to work so much harder in order to get their products as possibly good as they can, before they release them on the market because they know as soon as they do, they're gonna be coming into direct competition with these other brands and huge massive brands. So it's about trying to support them and show you guys there is an alternative. And with all the reviews that I'm doing, I'm finding that their products are so good, you know. There is so much really quality stuff being made out there by these smaller brands and craftsmen and stuff and we really need to help and support them. Otherwise, they're just going to give up and all we'll have left are these big, faceless, horrible brands. Now, with all the reviews that I do, stuff that I go out and buy myself would be hard-earned pennies and stuff that gets sent through to me. I'm completely honest with all of my reviews. I'm completely unbiased. Everything I do is my own opinion. And let's face it, we're all consumers and there is nothing worse than going out spending our hard-earned pennies on all sorts of bits and pieces. We get it home, it doesn't live up to expectations, falls apart, badly made and stuff like that, not worth the money. And we either just dump it, sits there on the shelf gathering dust, or we give it to people we don't like as Christmas and birthday presents, which is why all of my reviews are completely honest that I do. Go get coffee. What's today? Oh yeah, Saturday, isn't it? Uh, working this evening and tomorrow evening, but it doesn't matter. It's all pennies. <laughs> so, also have a Halloween special coming up on the 31st of October, which, funnily enough, is Halloween. It's going to be a live reviews. Um, there's two or three reviews happening. There's also going to be a live giveaway. There's also going to be a silent review, which is going to be quite interesting interesting and so yeah lots of halloween stuff going on on the 31st of october and it's all going to be live so please join me for that it's going to be interesting if nothing else so review that i have for you today is something slightly different uh, this was sent through to me a few days ago by a small brand called abby horn and they sent me through a few bits and pieces to have a look at show you guys get my impressions of it and see what what's what. So first of all, I've forgotten something that's just on the shelf behind me. I'm back. Now, I've done a review uh, a couple of weeks ago for Alfred's Mead, who basically make mead. And they sent me through um, kind of a Viking ox horn mug, tankard, whatever you want to call it. And found, I need my glasses because I've got my notes in front of me, found that it was from a brand called Abbey Horn. And so I got in touch with them saying, look, what you've created is absolutely stunning. I've been chatting to them and stuff. And apparently they made a lot of the drinks wear and bits and pieces and stuff like that for Game of Thrones and also for Vikings, the TV series, which I did watch. Kind of lost my way halfway through with it a bit once sort of like certain cast members were killed off it was kind of like what's going on with that um it was okay because as you know i love all me vikings and stuff like that but really nice so i got in contact with um abby Horn and said look i got a mug through from alfred's mead it was really really cool liked it what else do you do and kind of like if you want me to do review need any help or support and they got back to me and said yeah it'd be great so they sent me through a few bits but this was from them really nicely made and so before we get into the products they have sent me a leaflet through which is nice I always enjoy reading stuff as well if you know what I mean I've um, got a book review coming up as well so that'd be quite cool because 
very rarely read, don't all have the time for it, so it's going to be nice to do a couple of book reviews. So Abbey Horn, established 1749, who we are. Abbey Horn is the last remaining horn works in Great Britain and have been manufacturing traditional and contemporary hornware since 1749. This ancient craft uses skills that have been unchanged for centuries and passed down through generations. Abbey Horn is a small company in the northwest of England on the edge of the northwest of England on the edge of the Lake District. Our skilled workforce workforce consists of only 11 members who between them have 142 years of horn craft experience. Some days I feel like 142 years old. The sources of their horn. The horns we use to create our products are ethically sourced from Ankole cows in Nigeria and are a byproduct of the meat industry. If these horns were not recycled by us, they would end up in landfill. As well as being a popular luxury item, horn has unique qualities and is the original organic plastic. It has all the same attributes as plastic without the terrible side effects, which is great, we don't need plastic in our lives. Um, it is biodegradable, exceedingly strong and durable. It responds easily to heat. It can be bent and shaped with ease and doesn't carry flavor. This is why it's great for serving and eating with, as it won't taint the taste. Using horn and warm materials makes it truly ecological products, making the items we produce uh, much sought after. And so it's nice getting these leaflets through you know and it does show where that people are really really care about what they're doing so i sent me through one two three four five six bits to have a look at um all various different pieces and to each one we had a little sticky note so i need to just quickly sort this out into the stickers um should have done this beforehand but there you go that's me that goes there. That goes there. That goes there. And that goes there. Okay, so like I say, they use horns and antlers. It's all ethically sourced, if you know what I mean, which is great. And it's nice to see kind of upcycling, if you know what I mean, something that's left over and you can create something new out of it. And obviously horn crafts and arts and stuff like that has been used for centuries. They were using it years and years and donkeys years ago. First of all, we're going to be having a look at this. This um, product code SWK, Stag Antler Whistle Keering, Material Scottish Deer Antler. Now my granddad used to have... Um, an antler whistle because he'd done a lot of hunting he had a couple of gun dogs and would go out shooting and stuff and he'd always have one of these hanging on his zip or on a lanyard and everything which is nice so this is the stag or deer antler tip tine whatever you want to call it it's got the wooden reed in there and it actually does work let's try and do this without scaring the out of my dogs yeah that definitely works yeah, one of my dogs has just got up. Um, yeah, so really nice, nice feeling to it. It's all really well made, the hole through there. It's nice and smoothly finished. No jaggedy, nasty, horrible bits on it, which is really nice. And I don't know whether you can see that, but just there, you've got the Abbey Horn logo, which I, I assume has been burnt on there or printed on there. No, it has actually been burnt on there, judging by the depth of it. So that's really nice. And we'll be going through prices at the end of it. Also, we have product code T24, a tree-shaped moustache comb, horn and coal cow horn. That is beautiful. You know, that's one of the things I do love with antlers and horn and stuff like that, uh, that it's each piece is completely unique and different, if you know what I mean. And it's strong as well. I'm not going to ping it too much because I don't want to break it because it's beautiful. And so hopefully the camera's picking up the detail that's in this. And it's all so smoothly finished and highly polished, if you know what I mean. Um, you've got, from the, what I can tell, you've got slightly wider tooth space on one side and the other. I suppose you can do your eyebrows if you've got eyebrows. Being possibly not a good idea, but yeah, really good for your tash. Nice feel to it as well. And I, I do like the way that, obviously, the 
bone and horn isn't particularly great with hot water and stuff like that and you do have to kind of keep it treated as well and as you can see you've got the logo as well oh, there you go pick it out there abbey horn so it's beautiful love the feel of it the shape of it also they've sent through a, another product code c24 rounded mustache comb so this is what i I assume they mean by rounded. Again, made it out of ankle cow horn. Beautiful little brush. I mean, obviously for your beard and stuff, you get you wouldn't use this specifically for your beard, but for your moustache, you can use it for eyebrows if if you're so into that sort of thing, female and whatever. Beautiful designs. Really simplistic, but really, really well made. And even the gaps, if you can see that between the teeth, they're all filed down, no jagged bits and stuff like that. And actually the barber I go to, he's got uh, a couple of sort of like horn moustache brushes and stuff like that that he uses, which is really nice. And it's quite a decent thick one as well. It's not thin or flimsy, so it's got a nice bit of feel to it. Moving on, we have Eyebrow Stroke Moustache Comb, product code E24, again made from horn and cold cow. So this is kind of almost like a squared version of this one. Slightly wider handle on it than the other. Roughly, uh, the squared one is slightly longer, see that, than the rounded one. Again, it's got the Abbey Horn logo on it and this whole sort of two-tone cow horn effects all of these products i have to say are just ridiculously well finished and sanded and smooth as anything and got a really nice sort of tactile feel to them and the products quality i sat there and I'm, i wouldn't say i've been trying to, well i have been trying to find faults because that's my job and that's what i'm here to do to negatives and positives whereas this one as you can see is kind of like straight across this one does have a slight curve to it um along the teeth so probably handy for doing your eyebrows if you've got very thick dense eyebrows I obviously haven't but no really really nice and cool beautiful product also something else which was pretty cool that uh, arrived was a product code MSB moustache brush a horn um, and cold cow made out of wood beech wood and the bristles are boar bristles and that is really cool the moustache brush especially with Movember coming up um, there you go, you can see it in there as well. Abbey Horn and ball bristles, really nice stiffness to them. And I actually like this for the moustache, if you know what I mean, because it really gets, for me, it feels like because of the ball bristles are quite a stiff bristle, it does get into the back where my skin is and everything. Because it's very important as well when you do use moustache combs and beard combs and stuff, you do kind of almost like run it through to the skin and everything. and sort of generate blood circulation and everything within your skin. I've used this several times. I've had no problems at all with the bristles falling out or anything. Really well finished. The actual bone itself marries up completely to the beech wood, so there's no overhang on it. Really well finished. And I say, you know, that way. That way, so with Movember and everything coming up, I think that is a stunning, stunning piece of kit that is. And also, they have sent through product code SDHTC Stag Antler Crown Skin Du Material Stag Antler and Leather Sheath Sheath Sheet. And so, made from the Antler Crown, which is where this bit attaches to obviously the skull, and then you've got the antler that will come out. I'm not sure what deer this is. Um, and Beautiful little thing. I'm not sure how sturdy it is because with a lot of skiing dues, you can either get the ones where you just get the handle and there is no real blade on it because the scabbard is fixed to it. You can get ones that look like they have a blade attached to it, but this is, yeah, you could do some damage if you stab someone with it, but the actual blade itself, there is no edge to it. Highly polished mirrored one, so you, this is kind of what's known with skin do's and stuff. You get a dress skin do and you get kind of more of a day casual one. You can get the same with sporans. You can get a semi dress, uh, which is usually antler and stuff. And it's usually been capped with something or got a jewel or something on the side of it. But these tend to be more 
casual skin do's if they're made out of horn. Nice little leather sheath with some Celtic knotwork you can just see put in there. So because this isn't a real knife, I wouldn't imagine that the, I uh, can't think of the tan goes all the way into the horn itself. Um, so it's purely for decor decorative reasons and the same with a lot of skin dudes as well, unless they are made for sort of like bushcraft survival and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Again, really well made. All the stitching's really nice on the scabbard or the sheath, scabbard, the sheath, should I say, really nice crown. Nice feel to it as well, kind of sits in your three fingers. Decent weight to it as well, not flimsy or anything. Um, I don't want to sort of like start testing the blade strength and stuff like that because even though it is a blade, it's not technically a blade because it has no leading edge or anything to it. Um, as you can see, it's fairly dull, although it does have a nasty stabby point on it. And again, really, really nice. And that's one thing I do like seeing is this whole, like I said it earlier, this whole upcycling thing. It's using other products to make something really cool out of it. And each one of these pieces is, to me, a little work of art, if you know what I mean. These little brushes are just so well made and the finish on them is ridiculously good. Now, it comes down to prices. <coughs> now, obviously, antler and bone and uh, horn isn't particularly cheap. So, starting off with the whistle. The whistle itself is £15.77. The ox hair um, moustache. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. The brush itself, the... Moustache brush, thirty-eight pounds and three pence. The rounded comb, twenty-five pounds forty-four pence. The tree moustache comb, twenty-five pound forty-five pence. And the eye moustache, eyebrow moustache comb, is twenty-five pounds forty-four pence. And the skin do they do lots of different sorts of designs and stuff like that. 60 pounds 95 pennies now it does sound like a lot but obviously with but, uh, horn and stuff like that it does last a very long time as long as you treat it right and don't go pinging it and stick it in with your keys and scratching it up and stuff like that it will last ages and i just think the thing of beauty is not only functional but it is artistic as well and so any of those i think are particularly worth it my particular favorites have to be the moustache brush, the tree comb, the whistle, because it just reminds me of my granddad, and the skin do. Really, really well made. It turned up within a couple of days. Um, I've gone through it over and over again, all the products looking for defects and flaws and stuff like that. Obviously, with horn and antler, it's not a perfect material, if you know what I mean. Plastic you can mould, and to a certain degree you can this. But with the horn especially, you kind of work with all the lumps and bumps and crevices and stuff like that in there. But really well made, really nicely put together, and I think everything is a beautiful little piece of art. Now, I hope you have enjoyed this review. Um, I'm going to be putting links down below in the description box. So please give them some help and support and following them. And like I say, they are a UK crafts as well, which is nice to kind of support UK as well. And I hope you have enjoyed this little review this morning. <laughs> um, got a couple more reviews coming up as well over the weekend, so stay tuned for that. I've got some beer products uh, from Savage Alchemy that I'm going to be reviewing a bit later on today. Also, also got some mead to review and some pin badges to review, and also some more candles to review, which I can't wait. So I hope you enjoy this. Any questions, comments, please put down below in the description box. I'm here to help and support anybody that needs it. Thank you guys. Keep on taking care of each other. Keep on helping and supporting each other. Keep on looking after each other, and above all, keep on loving each other and growing those beards if you are growing one. Have a great weekend out there. Thank you. I really appreciate your time in watching these. Thank you, guys.